Derby Sender. This model is the SM, which stands for Supermoto Cross City. It's 2008 for sale on eBay. If we go through the paperwork first, I can show you what we've got the HPR certificate there that shows it all completely clear. There's no finance, no accidents, nothing like that. It comes with the V5 registration document, no former keepers, making it a one owner. Registered August 2008. It comes with the eBay description there as well. A few little things to point out around the bike. Um, all the wheel bearings have been checked okay, but I've noticed there's the smallest amount of up and down play on the rear suspension link, but that's that's quite normal for for a bike that's sort of not been used very much. It, it amounts to perhaps about half a millimetre or something. I guess if you had time you could perhaps oil it or something to sort of take the snack out of it. The drive chain on the bike is quite slack and it makes a bit of a whirry noise on the overrun. Um, it's probably never been adjusted I wouldn't think, or if it has not very much. Because it's got a long chain and it runs over this sort of guide there it can sort of make a bit of a noise there. There is, it does look like there's a fair bit of adjustment left on there so that might might sort of bring it up a bit um, but the chain is worn, you might feel like you want to change that at some point to make it a, a better bike. I've also noticed that the front wheel is very slightly out of true. If you were to hold a pencil on this sort of edge there and spin the wheel, it's probably about a millimetre to a millimetre and a quarter out. A bit of sideways movement there. Um, I don't think it would fail an MOT, um, but you might want to check if you're concerned about it. But other than that, you might want to get it trued up at some point, certainly before the MOT, which is a, in a couple of years' time. Um, something I've noticed on the bike is it's probably suitable for a, a larger sort of a person because when you sit on it, although the seat is not that high off the ground necessarily, there's quite a long distance between the seat and the foot pegs. So if you're a bigger sort of a chap, it might be a good bike for you. The rear tyres had it. You're going to need to change that. That's um, that's shot now. I would think looking at the bike and what I know of the bike and sort of riding it and looking at it and testing it, it may never have been serviced. There is no service history with the bike and looking at the way the uh, flasher relays don't flash, I mean, the, the rest of the electrics work, that's not been changed, this hasn't been adjusted. Um, little things like that, it doesn't look like it's been serviced to me but you can't be sure. I've um, when I've uh, tested the bike, I've sprayed WD-40 over it. So you see there are patches where it's a bit shiny and sort of also patches where it's a bit matte as well, like sort of on there, but it just wants, wants a bit of a clean. But that was sprayed on there to protect the bike while it's in storage. So there we go. Good luck with the bidding.